I had graduated a few years out of the Media Lab at MIT and I became obsessed with this idea of making electronics fun, creative and, and more accessible to not engineers and it wasn't ever meant to be a product or a company, it was just like a little project that I was doing. Gradually the obsession kind of started growing and so I raised a round of funding um, and I went into production and we were shipping December that year. So you didn't necessarily have children in mind when you first created the kit? It was mostly actually designed for designers. It was a prototyping kit, so they, you know, designers used to make chairs and tables, or still do chairs and tables, but now they're designing DVD players and coffee makers and nests, and so they need to prototype with electronics. And so Little Bits was a tool for prototyping. What changed is the marketing. Instead of saying, this is so you can prototype your next invention, this is so you can prototype your next startup, now we say, this is so you can um, invent a cool thing, or so you can get excited about robotics, or learn about uh, science and so our messaging changed but but largely the product is the same there's something very beautiful about the way we used to play we used to sit on the floor have a bunch of things and you know everything was untethered and you just like played and used your imagination and started from something small and made something big and complex and so what we want to do is take the most beautiful things about those experiences but bring them to the 21st century and make it relevant for them so these kids are practically born with an iPad in their hands. They're, you know, talking to Alexa. They're like all, you know, very comfortable working around uh, robots. And so we have to take the technologies that are new, you know, cloud connectivity, wireless control, Bluetooth, uh, programmability, and match it to some of these old play patterns and kind of bring the best of both worlds. I mean, how, how is this product more kind of open to all genders than maybe past products? So your droid can become a, a sock sorting droid or a sibling protecting droid or a, a food delivery droid and all sorts of things that become really just outside of just like the, uh, the classical droids that we see in the movies. And we also used uh, Ray as a, uh, as a mentor. So Ray obviously is a, is a hero um, since episode seven and, uh, and she's a scavenger herself. She's a problem solver she's a tinkerer uh, and so we really elevated her um, status so she's your mentor through your invention journeys. So obviously the company has grown quite a bit over the last several years and you've got this partnership with Disney what's what's next what's over the horizon? Playfulness is always first but also injecting more ideas around learning how to code around STEM and STEAM around robotics and really kind of tapping into the zeitgeist that we feel now parents and kids being ready but doing it through fun and through kind of exciting stories and experiences. Mm -hmm.